Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. I am so excited for this one. This has been such a long time coming and I I am over the moon. Kerned Fonts is here. It's something we've been asking for for years and years and it is finally here. And I have to say, it's really, really good. So this is a seven day rollout. So over the next seven days, you will get the update for 6.9. And in there, you will find the kerned fonts. And we're going to go through all of it. You will get it. If you don't get it immediately, don't panic. As I say, it's a seven day rollout. So you are going to get it in the next seven days. The first thing is you need to make sure you're in the new canvas. So if we come up to our three bars and we go to settings, just make sure that the canvas style is selected as new. If you're in the new canvas, you'll be able to get kerning and offset. If you're in the classic canvas, you will not be able to get these features. We are going to open up a text box. And if we come up to our fonts, you can see here we've got only kerned fonts and that's selected. So that will automatically be selected now. Now it will only show the fonts that have kerning, so kerning data. If you want all of your fonts available, then you will need to uncheck that but we're going to keep it on for the time being because we want to play with fonts that we can kern with so for those of you that don't know kerning is when the fonts are appropriately spaced so if a font is meant to be cursive and all of the letters are meant to be attached and flowing before we would have to manually move those in design space now because kerning is available when we type them it will type them as it's supposed to. And that's both for system and Cricut fonts. So any fonts that you install to your computer, as long as they have got kerning data, you will, when you type them, now see them as they are meant to be typed. And the same with appropriate Cricut fonts. I'm just going to search my fonts for Samantha because as we know that is a very popular font. I'm going to select it, click in my text box and I'm going to start typing and you'll see that those letters are now all overlapped exactly as they should be. And if we make that larger, oh I'm so happy. Honestly, I am so happy with this. Now, I do just want to say, this is where it gets a little bit confusing because if we look at our layers panel, you'll see it's our one layer, but we've still got weld and attach showing. And actually, if we change it to a pen, we can actually see that those are what we would call attached. However, it's not showing as attached. It's showing as grouped. And when we group something in the canvas, when we then go to make it, they're all over our mat. However, if we go to make it, you will see that they are actually already welded. So even though it's not showing as welded in design space, when we actually go to make it, we can see there, because our kerning feature is on, that those letters are in fact already welded. So it's a little bit confusing. You don't need, as long as you don't ungroup them, you will not need to weld your kerned fonts. Even though it looks like you do, as I say, when we go to make it, you'll see they're already welded. The only time we need to weld them is if, as I say, we ungroup them. And the only reason we would do that now is if we want to add a character in. 
So if I go down to my window search bar and I search for my character map and let me find Samantha and I'm going to go to my character set Unicode group by Unicode sub range and then go all the way down to private use characters that will then bring me up my hidden characters and let's just find a couple that we can work with let's select that one and let's select that one and that one and then copy those if we then open up a new text box hold down our control and V that will then paste those letters in we want them to be the same font size, so I'm going to make them the same, 209.43, and then ungroup those to letters. I can then, of course, swap those out. Now, because I've then ungrouped these, I would then need, because they're overlapping, to weld them. Don't forget when you weld something and you save and come out of design space, when you come back in, you cannot unweld. So you do want to make sure that you save and then weld. Equally, I also just want to say, because obviously when we type with our kerning and we go to make it, it's already welded. If you type something and just leave it as it is and save, when you come in, you can actually ungroup it. So what you can't do is ungroup, weld, save, and then ungroup again. But as long as you don't ungroup this, you can at a later date come in and do so. It's a little bit confusing when you first get your head around it because obviously in design space, we're so used to ungrouping and welding. Just remember that whilst it's on the canvas, it looks like it is only grouped. But when you go to make it, it is in fact welded. So if we go and get another text and this time let's have a search for a Cricut font. And I am really upset because I've just realised that one of my favourite fonts, one of my favourite design space fonts, Alexis Mattox, is actually not a kerned font. So when I select only kerned fonts that then disappears. Oh dear. Oh well, we can't have everything. So let's find a design space font that does have kerning. And kerning isn't just about cursive fonts. Kerning is about the spacing between the letters. So all different types of fonts may have kerning data. So let's choose Annie Lou. And we can then come in and start writing our text. And that is just brilliant. You can, of course, even though it's kerned, you can still play with the letter spacing. So you can change that if you want to. And of course, if you've got multiple lines, you can play with your line spacing. You can unlock it and change the way that it sort of looks. So you have still got all of your normal options. The great thing about this is because the fonts with kerning data will now kern, it means that when you want to create an offset, it is nice and easy. Honestly, I am so excited by this. This is just absolutely fantastic. Just remember, not all your fonts will have kerning data. So if you see that some of your fonts are missing, just remember it's pr probably because you've got only kerned fonts selected. So just remember that you will automatically have that selected now. And if you can't find a specific font, just untick it. You also need to be in the new canvas. And even though 
in our mat, our current fonts are showing as grouped. When we go to make it, they are actually welded, which means you don't actually have to do anything with them unless, of course, you want to add some special characters in, in which case you're then going to ungroup them and then you must remember to weld them. As always, thank you so much for watching. I am so excited about this. So let me know in the comments how you get on with it because this is fantastic. Honestly, I'm so, so excited. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. As I say, leave any comments and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.